Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in any kind of trading, whether you are crypto, future, forex, whatever, there is always risk. We're not your financial advisor. We're just trying to help uh, what's going on uh, uh, in the cryptocurrency. Uh, we have never posted a video and we did not aim it to the tick. Never made mistakes, which we will make mistakes, of course. Nobody can predict the future 100%. But until now, we are doing very fine. And whatever we predict, it happened. Uh, because I'm not listening to the news. I am looking at technical analysis. And the rest is rubbish for me but you can do whatever you want. Yesterday we predicted, because those institutional numbers, which a lot of people don't know what it is, or they don't know how it works. After 27 years, we have seen everything in, in the trading. After the institutionals has hit the targets yesterday, if you look for uh, the video we made yesterday, and we announced the technical numbers profit taken and now the market was turn, gonna turn around and it did yesterday if you look at the video we said we will be climbing to the 25 level uh, 45 level and we are i just want to explain what's going on right now uh, to be cautious what's going on uh in that the, the critical area on the bitcoin this is a very critical area right there we crossed it you know now I'm looking forward to climb to the 47 level. Here's the, the bigger picture when you are looking at the uh, daily chart. Now for the day trading people, uh, most likely, as you notice here, we have crossed a very major resistance on the, on the Bitcoin. And now we are probably, uh, the buyers are there and uh, and most likely, this is very important, and that will be very interesting to watch because tomorrow also is Friday. We're going to have target one, target two, target three. This is where you start laying off uh, some of your profit. And here is your entry. It's right there at the bottom. Short, close, reverse, and then... Uh, we are so we are crossing now a really a major area here if we are able to close this bar above that number that will be really great what we have said yesterday there is a good potential to the 45 level and if you look where is the target three it will be some profit taken maybe it's not by uh, small traders but it will be some profit taken and it should not panic you because it's going back to the 4480, 44858, and then probably going to go back to the, to the major resistant area here. So those are the numbers where some of those big companies that will be playing with those numbers. This is their target right now, target three. It is 4548791 right below a major resistance. Profit taking, drop back to the 44, and I don't know what will happen after that. It depends on the rumors and the news, which is going to drive the market. So if we go back to the bigger picture, the daily chart, it has been confirmed on those so if we are crossing this major resistance around 45 level, there is a good potential for this Bitcoin to go all the way up to the 53 level, 52 level, somewhere around that area. So now we are facing this critical area here because we are coming into this major resistance. As we have said, there is a potential to 45 level and we are going to climb to the 45 level. On the way to the 45 level, there is some profit will be taken, and 
uh, what, it, what I'm concerned about is the 45, 541 level. This one here, I'm a little bit concerned because this is where the profit will be taken, drop into target two, and from target two, I have no idea, honestly, what will happen. And uh, because of the timing, uh, tomorrow is a Friday, usually on the, on the weekends, it's a little bit different. For the Ethereum, uh, once we, we are going, you see, they all work together somehow. And if you calculate it, the ticks from the Ethereum all the way to the 32 level, that it is the same problem as the Bitcoin. You know what, what we are looking at the technical analysis here, and when we are looking at that chart, I don't see anything different from Forex or future. I don't see anything special or different movement than anything out there to trade. Once you are a trader, you are a trader and you can uh, predict whatever is going to happen. So here is the things is it's like the future market. It is if this Bitcoin able to break the 45 level, your Ethereum is going to break the 32 level and it's going to start climbing to the 36 level. As simple as that. Simple as that. If this Bitcoin is not able to, to break the 45, then it's going to be some problems around 32 level on the Ethereum. So they're all connected. Uh, another thing, I don't like to cover different type of a crypto, but I'm going to go one step further. If we look at the uh, Cardano, because there is a lot of people with Cardano, if we notice here, you can see how this Cardano was having a problem, and it is very, one of the guy, I have respect for him, he's a very nice guy. Um, he do, his, he got his own channel, and um, and the guy said, I'm not a trader from, from day one, and, and he earned my respect. What he does, he just a brand news, and I don't want to call which name it is. And he said from the beginning, I'm not a trader, I don't know. Yeah. So what he does, he, he comes straight on a different matter, which I have respect for him. The guy right away said, I'm not a trader. I don't know. But what he said, what he caught my, uh, he said, I don't know what happened uh, with Cardano because there is a lot of good news and it's not going anywhere. And the guy claimed he's not a trader. The, here, here is my point, folks. Why I say stay technical, not fundamental. This guy, he didn't understand why it was a lot of good news and the Cardano did not uh, went up. If we go back to reality and see the technical side of the Cardano, we can see the Cardano was getting stuck on a major resistance, coming back to the support area rejected from the same resistance level, coming back to the same area here now because of the Bitcoin, he has a broke out of a jail and now he is on a free home run. What happened right now, this resistance become a support. The resistance become a support. So again, the, the comparison between that guy, I have no bread with him. He's a very respectable man. He tried to bring the news, what's going on and everything. He's okay. That proved to me that even if you follow the news a lot and you are not concentrating on the technical side of any given market, whether you are on a Forex or a future or anything, uh, then you have a problem, you know. Combining both, I don't recommend it. If you want to buy and sell on rumors, that's fine. But uh, after all those years, 90% uh, what you see on the net, they're either getting paid or they are trying to use commercials and they get paid somehow. And, and there is some rumors, depends on that person, if he is on a short side. 
and um, you know there the, the, the is funny things uh, on one of the multimedia one of the guy he said to go ahead and um, close all your position on ethereum and this guy this poor guy he closed everything sold everything and he sent him a message you can read it he said i closed all the ethereum now what by the time he said that the ethereum went all the way to almost four i don't remember and i was la laughing because he was following a guy he don't know where this guy coming from or what kind of bread he has in there so again guys uh when we stick on into the technical analysis on any given market uh, you don't budge you don't get nervous because you don't panic and and uh, and uh, this is what is happening for many years people panic they sell future or forex or or crypto and then after they sell they find out they were on the right direction which all of us has experienced that i hope this information it is uh, good enough for you and uh, we wish you the best if we have time tomorrow we will follow up on what we have uh, predicted today i want to say thank you very much and god bless you all and please be careful in the market thank you